Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how you can transfer files between your computer and your Raspberry Pi wirelessly. So let's get started. So guys, in this video, we are going to use a software called FileZilla. Now FileZilla is a file transfer software and basically we are going to use SFTP protocol to transfer file between our Raspberry Pi and the computer. Now the advantage of using SFTP is we don't need to install anything in our Pi. Okay, so we just need to install the FileZilla software in our computer and we'll be good to go. So you just go to the official site of FileZilla and you download the FileZilla client. Okay. And then I have already downloaded that and like install that. So I will open FileZilla. So after you open FileZilla, this is how it will look like. Okay, now you need to turn on your Pi. So I also have turned on my Pi. Now I am going to open like I am going to connect with my Pi through SSH. Okay, now remember to like transfer your files. You don't need to connect to your Pi, but I am just connecting to show you that the files are transferring. Okay, so let me connect to my Pi. Okay. So now I am inside my Pi. Okay. Okay. One thing you need to do if you want to transfer file is to you have to enable the SSH in your Pi. Okay. Now to do so, you can simply write sudo uh, raspi config uh, in your. So if you are like using putty SSH, then that means your SSH is already enabled. But if you are not using that, in that case, you can write sudo raspi config. Then from there, you can go to localization options. Uh, sorry, not localizations. Uh, you have to go to the interfacing options and from there you have to enable the ssh okay so would you like to uh, like this server to be enabled you just click yes and the ssh server is enabled okay and then you just click here finish okay so you need to just turn on the ssh okay after that you just go to your filezilla and here you in the host you write the ip of your pi in my case it's 192.168.0.105 then you write the username of your pi so in my case it's pi and then you write the password by default it's raspberry okay and finally in the port you have to write 22 okay and then finally you click here quick connect and within very few seconds you will see like in the right side you will see like a remote site home pi and in the left side you will see local site users are using desktop so basically the left side is basically your local computer and the right side is your pi so all these files in this side are basically the files of your computer so as you can see if you just go to my desktop like if you select my desktop from this here you will see all the files available in my desktop in this window and uh, here if you see phone uh, like home and pi so from pi if you just click here you will see all the folders inside your pi and from there let's say i will just select my desktop and if i just click on my desktop you will see all the files in my desktop will be available here so let me go to my pi let me go to the desktop and there let me create a new folder so let's say the name of the folder is uh, file maybe okay file so mkdir file which will basically create a new folder and then we will go inside that folder so file folder okay now the file folder is empty okay so now you go this side you go to desktop and you will be not able to see the file folder so what you need to do you need to click in this button okay so refresh button so you click the refresh and then you will be able to see the files as you can see the files available here now if you just click in the file you will see there is nothing in this directory okay now how we can transfer some file from our computer to our pi so here at first we have to localize the file in our computer so let's say i want to send the file let's say a.jpg which is in my desktop to my pi so you just select the file from the from your directory so I know it's on my desktop. So I have selected desktop from here. And then here I have selected the file. Now you like right click on the file and you just say upload. Okay, you just right click upload. And you will see within very few seconds, it will be uploaded in the Pi. Now if you go to this folder and you press ls, you, you can see that a.jpg file has been uploaded. Okay. Now let's say, uh, this is how you can like transfer a file from your Pi, uh, from your computer to Pi. Now, how you can like transfer a file from Pi to computer? The process is same, but here, let's say, uh, let's just go to the desktop. And in my desktop, I have several files. Let's say I want to just copy this a3.py file, okay, to my computer. How can I do that? I will just, let's say, on my desktop, maybe some, uh, maybe some other folder. I just want to do that. So, for example, in my desktop, if you see, I have images folder in my desktop. So, I can just click on the images folder. And then in the images folder, 
I can actually copy this, I can download this file. So if you just click here, you will see the download option. So if you click in the download, you will see within very few seconds that file will be downloaded inside the folder you have selected. So I had selected the images folder. Now, as you can see inside the images folder, I have that f3.py. Now let's see if it's really there. So we just open my PC. I just go to my desktop from there. Here I go to images and from there, if you see, I have that file somewhere here. Yeah, as you can see, here is the F3 file. Okay, so you can actually like open it, you can check it. Okay, so we have transferred the file successfully. Okay, so in this way, we can transfer file from our disk, from our computer to the Pi and the Pi to computer. And uh, from here, you can see the fail transfer if there is any fail transfer or also you can see the tra successful transfer. So we have transferred two files. You can see the details here. So the sizes, the time of transfer and everything. Okay, and after you will like uh, your like transferring of file is done, you simply just close it and that's it. You don't need to do anything else. So this is a very quick video on how you can like transfer the files. So I hope you have liked this video. So if, if you have liked it, then please hit the like button and stay tuned uh, for future videos because I am going to make this kind of basic videos in future also. So I think that's all about this video. See you in the next one.